Right, what you're looking at there are some beautiful purple mushrooms. There's some young ones, some well there's some very young ones just down here you can see smaller than my fingernail through to the more mature ones here there's more hiding in the middle of the tree stump here even some growing under here and here's one that I've picked just to help you with identification purposes um, you can see on it the stem is very velvety and that's a, a key feature of this family of mushrooms. This is the Lucaria family. And this particular one, Lucaria amethystina, the amethyst deceiver, is a lovely edible mushroom. All of the Lucarias are edible. It's quite a distinctive mushroom because of the colour. It's one of the prettiest mushrooms. I think it's probably the prettiest edible mushroom that we get in the UK. And uh, for that reason, we're going to be leaving these behind today because there's plenty of other edible mushrooms around. And we're in the mill garden and these are actually, to my mind, prettier than any other flowers that we've got growing here at the moment. It's an edible mushroom though, so a good one to know. It comes out in June, around June, and it will go right through uh, autumn into late autumn sometimes and I've been in some woods where there was literally thousands of these carpeting the, the woodland floor so they're a very very common mushroom around Europe, North America and the UK and Ireland um, as are these this is another member of the same family the Deceiver family, the Lucaria family this is Lucaria lucata, the Deceiver this is the Amethyst Deceiver and this is the deceiver itself. Now, the deceiver's got that name because it changes colour quite a lot through its life cycle. This again is an edible mushroom, but if you have a close look here, you can see it's got that same velvety stem, but the cap and the stem with this mushroom can range through from sort of pale yellow through to tan brown and the orange that you can see here. So this mushroom, you're fairly safe when you've got a mushroom with bright purple gills like this, a purple cap and a purple stem. Uh, this mushroom, because it changes colour so much through its life cycle, it's not one that we recommend that novice foragers go picking. Um, it is very, very common, but there are a few mushrooms that look a bit like it. With regards to the, the purple mushroom, the amethyst deceiver, there is one mushroom that uh, we've got growing very close to this little patch here, which is purple. And you can see it here in a few different stages of its life cycle. This is the Inocybe geophila, and this is the, the Lilacina variant of the Inocybe geophila. The normal Inocybe geophila is white. The Inocybes are uh, called fiber caps. On this little one, the cap doesn't split so often, but you'll see there's kind of a few lines coming from the middle of the cap down to the uh, down to the edge of the cap and that's uh, a key feature of quite a lot of the Inocybe family but this mushroom is deadly poisonous so you have to be very very careful when you're picking your amethyst deceivers because these will be growing in and around the same sort of places um, the gills are different the stem isn't quite so velvety and obviously you've got purple gills instead of white gills to match the nice purple cap. Anyway, be careful of the Inocybe geophilas, but don't be afraid to try the Amethyst Deceiver because it is a very common mushroom. As I said, we're leaving these here today, but uh, it's one worth trying and a pretty safe one for the novice forager to go for. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.